film folks here, welcome back to another Poem Master video. And if you're and if you saw the title and the thumbnail, you're like, what the heck? This banner is a thing. Um, yes, apparently this banner is a thing for those who forgot, because apparently a lot of people forgot this banner was a thing, right? Um, but if you guys do remember from the data data mines, uh, there is like 3.5 um reruns uh banners th this month that aren't you know paid gem exclusives, right? Um so first we got the fire type banner rerun with um Embor and and well Hilda and Ethan and then we got the point five one with Pumeria and Lucy. Lucy obviously a new unit but she's a four star so it's not like that big of a deal. Um because you know Plumeria still has the full two percent rates uh, on the banner, right? And then now we are getting the Phoebe Dusclops plus Fantina Miss Magius banner rerun and then at the end of this month we also have um a, a Guzma uh, solo banner right so um yeah let's let's get into this and um this banner is probably the second worst it's probably either the worst or second worst banner um this month um it's it's mainly because like the units are semi outdated although Phoebe is still really really good and and like you know Miss Magius is fine as well but like Driftwind just came out and Driftwind is just better <laughs> I guess uh, I guess Miss Magius is more consistent uh, but Driftum does have a higher cap uh, between the two, right? Um, you know, Miss Magius is much easier to use. Driftum does have a higher skill cap, um, generally. And and also Miss Magius uh, does not have a grid, and Driftum does have a grid. So there's also the expenses part in terms of, you know, how to utilize these these units. Uh, but Phoebe's also, you know, still a solid unit. The other uh, banner I'm talking about, which could potentially be worse, is the Blue Mary one. Um, Lucy obviously is not you know it up the up there in terms of she's still she's a solid four star unit but um uh overall her kit is semi lacking um she'll be great with a grid however she does not have a grid so there's that right and also uh plumeria uh, she does have a grid um her grid's not the best as as a striker she does have some really really nice tech options um and she could actually do some decent damage with her, with her you know grid in terms of all that stuff because she does have um some good pass you know passive boost on that but anyways regardless what i'm trying to say is oh, this banner is really bad don't, don't pull on it right especially with all the stuff coming up next month and the stuff that's still around right now right there's almost like no reason to pull on this banner uh but we'll go over it nonetheless just for folks who aren't you know as familiar with these units since people have been actually asking me um if they or if they're gonna pull on this banner or whatever right uh but yeah like i mentioned for don't fall on this banner uh but as usual let's go over the units on and all that stuff just for those again who don't or aren't too uh familiar with these so first of all let's 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 go over phoebe and dustworm phoebe and dustworm is still really really good as a support and that's that's the upsides for supports right like um you know generally strikers get get power crap relatively easily right um but supports and supports do get power crep, right? I mean, Phoebe pretty much got power crep. Like almost every support basically got power crep by Sabrina and Swana, right? Um, but Phoebe still has her niche uses. Like in comparison to Sabrina, um, Sabrina almost does everything better <laughs> than Phoebe and does a lot of things that Phoebe can't do. But uh, Phoebe does have that extra um, a physical attack buff that Sabrina doesn't have, um, which is obviously very useful. Unfortunately, Phoebe just everything else is just slightly lacking um and especially since like she doesn't have a grid so she doesn't have any mp refreshes on any of her buffs which hurts her a lot right unfortunately um i can't wait for a vv grid personally but uh again uh it's going to be really hard to you know compete with the likes of sabrina it's just that like sabrina is she's also like way too powerful like she got like all the buffs right all the buffs the crit buffs special attack buffs action buffs and plus she heals and like none of the other supports that have really really good buffs really do heal so like they obviously you know it's something that a grid very unlikely will give them um but still she would be fine you know even if just if her grid just gives her like the mprs on on her pass or not pass on her um um status moves right it's still gonna be very very good uh but anyways Again, you know, enough talking about a grid that doesn't exist. Let's just go over the unit uh, herself. Okay, so um, as for the unit herself, she has very, very good special defenses. Um, 
and and not the worst HP, but not that great either. And her f physical defense is 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 phenomenal as well. Um, so like she has really really good defenses. She's not gonna die that easily uh, unless you use double edge, which does pretty cool damage. Then you will die very easily. <laughs> but um, you know she does have that going for her. Uh, her attack is kind of whatever. Uh, it's not like the worst, I guess, for support, but it's not like, like you know, anything phenomenal. And her speed's not really good. Uh, however, she does have things that could potentially fix it a bit. Oh, by the way, she has a support, if you can't tell already. Um, as for her moves, Shadow Punch, uh, it's ghost type. It, you, you'll, be using, you'll be using this move a lot, just because like your only other offensive option is Double Edge, which will take yourself out. Um, unless you're trying to do co-op with um, her passive, then you will use Double Edge a lot, and we'll talk about that in a bit. Um, she has Star Hit All Plus, which is a very, very, very powerful um, support buff, right? Uh, not a lot of units in this game have it. Um, it's just the likes of, you know, Phoebe. Uh, who else? Who else even has Star Hit All Plus? Well, uh, Sabrina at, at 2 out of 5, right? Um, but yeah, not not a lot of units uh, have, have Star Hit All Plus, so this is definitely very, very powerful. Um, I also have Unbreakable Bonds. The lower user HP is, the more increased the move gauge and raises the attack of all allied sync pairs. So this is really, really good. She's probably your best physical buffer um, in the game uh, without a grid, right? Because you do have both, um, you know, crit and, and physical attack buff. Plus you have gauges, which kind of fixes her speed issue. Obviously, you know, not really because you only have like two uses of this. Uh, but, it's, you know, definitely still very helpful. Um, as for her sync move, it's something special. 250 physical, no effect. Probably never gonna use it. Um, well, I mean, you, you might use it if you're, you know, again, running it with Garchomp or whatever, uh, or some other mega. As for passive skills, you have Pass It On and Vigilance. Vigilance, you can't take crits, which makes her even better um, at taking hits. Although she isn't that great of a tank anymore. She used to be, you know, one of the best tanks in the game. She's not that great anymore just because she lacks healing. She just doesn't heal at all, um, unfortunately. So hopefully that could you know be fixed in her grid something like a healthy healing catalytic cure something like that uh, would be really really nice for for um for phoebe right uh as for pass it on uh, pass it on is a great um co-op skill although it does get outclassed by Dr driftblim and morty with a benefactor right um driftblim and morty not only can increase your physical stats and your crit you don't have to wait for morty to die just give out the stats you can just swap out whenever and plus pass it on only gives half the stats well morty's benefactor gives like the full stats so like morty just like completely outclasses phoebe well i wouldn't say completely outclasses phoebe because morty's buffs are only for himself and like if you are using phoebe and co-op like the dire hit all still gives it to your whole team and morty's only obviously for him for himself and your own unit but uh, oh, you all that it just gives you more stats um morty's more of a you know personal support <laughs> and and uh phoebe is better with the whole team um, and, and that's where Double Edge comes in, right? If you're playing in co-op uh, and you got your buffs and all that, you kind of want to like Double Edge to take yourself out quicker so you could uh, trigger Pass It On to pass on your stats to the next unit. Um, you should probably do it after the opponent's sync moves or you know wait for the opponent's sync move to take you out or something so you don't uh, you know switch into a Pokemon and immediately get sync moved. <laughs> so there's that. But yeah, Phoebe um despite the power creep for support she's still really really good um however again like i mentioned for you don't you know there's no point summoning on, on this banner even even if it is for phoebe right which again phoebe's probably one of the best um ungridded units in the game um at the moment but again her downsides of of not having grid are pretty glaring just no mp refresh in general just hurts her um in the long run in a lot of other modes however she's phenomenal in, in legendary arena since you don't have to worry about mp refresh at all uh so again um good unit don't worry about her don't summon on her the banners again not good she's going to be in every pool anyways uh you'll, you'll get her sooner or later in the future and she'll probably you know once she gets a secret expansion like all these units right once they all get secret expansion they'll have a rerun on their banner which is probably more valuable if you want to pull then than pull now right um as for fantina miss magius uh pretty straightforward it's just a striker um again like i mentioned before uh it is a better special striker than dust uh not dust nor um than than driftlim but driftlim overall just outclasses miss magius um just because like driftlim just does like way way more damage <laughs> way more damage 
Um, although Miss Mingus' damage is actually really good as well. So, and we'll go over that. So HP, whatever, attack, irrelevant, defense, kind of bad. Special defense, not the worst for, for a striker, I guess. Special attack, 323, that's solid. Speed, 304, very good. Um, and the bulk stat is irrelevant. Um, as for its moves, Omnis win, it's an Omni boost, right? Um, so once, again, talking about grids, if Miss Magus ever gets a grid in the future, um, they give her something like um, Swag Bag on Omnis win, that would be pretty interesting. Um, as for some other stuff, X Special Attack, which is standard for a striker. Shadow Ball, that's your main damaging move. And then Dance With Me, which increases your move gauge by three and raises your crit by one. So there's that as well. Um, again, she's a solid Ghost Striker uh, for the most part. Her Where she gets really good is her passive. Um, as for Sync Move, it's pretty, again, standard 250 damage special Ghost type move. Um, passive, first passive, back, Backfire 2, sharply lowers attack and special attack of all opposing Sync pairs just for the user faints. Uh, that's kind of whatever because you don't want your units to faint. <laughs> so hopefully you never get to use that. Uh, it's kind of inevitable in co-op, I guess. Well, it's not inevitable, you know. Sometimes you kind of want to just go for it anyways. Uh, but, you know, outside of co-op, probably you don't, you don't want, you know, your units to die. Um, and the bulk buster for this is this is where, like, all her damage kicks in. And that's why, like, she just does so much damage, even though she doesn't have a sync grid, right? Bulk buster 4, the more the HP of the target has, the more it powers up moves. So that's why she does, like, just so much damage. And it's really, really good um, in Battle Villa because, in a sense, because... Uh, you could use Bulk Buster and take out the sides since the sides generally have like lower HP. A lot of units, sometimes before your first sync move, you can't really, you don't really have enough uh, damage to take out the sides in one shot. Uh, Miss Make is some, in some scenarios, could just, you know, straight up take out the sides in one shot uh, before you even sync move, just because of, again, Bulk Buster, the extra damage she, she gets when the opponent are max HP, right? Obviously, it decreases once you go, but, uh, you know, if you're averaged out, it's it's definitely really, really good damage. Um, however, Miss Make is. Like I mentioned before, is is rather limited um, offensively and isn't extremely consistent. Um, plus, no grid means no MP refresh, no move gauge refresh, and all that stuff. Again, she does really, really good damage for a ghost type striker. Um, yeah, I mean, and drip, you use Drifloom for physical, Miss Magius for special, right? If you have them, right? So, um, solid striker. Uh, just. You know, you don't have a grid, so you really can't compete with any of the other strikers that do have a grid, unfortunately. So, there's that, I guess. So, anyways, um, that's for this one, I guess. Uh, let me know guys think in the comments down below. Uh, like and enjoy this video. Subscribe to channel for some more Pokemon Masters content. And there we go. That's that's your should you pull, you know, video for this matter that no one even remembered existed. <laughs>